Joining us now is Etsy CEO Josh Silverman. Josh, welcome back to the show. How much of your business right now, and new business in particular, is being driven by mask sales? Well, what we announced in early May is that for the month of April, Etsy sold $133 million worth of face masks. That's 12 million face masks. That's enough for every single resident of the state of Ohio. But we also announced that sales of non-face mask products grew 79% year over year. So I think what people are realizing is that, yes, Etsy is amazing for uh, products like face masks, but we're also great for home furnishings. We're great for clothing and jewelry and baked goods and kids' toys and crafting projects. And that's where I think we're, we're seeing this real groundswell of, of demand for Etsy. How do you think about the sustainability of the revenue boost that, that you're describing and that you're talking about right now with, with many people still at home as we do move toward reopening this, this country? It's true. We're in a very unusual time where many retail stores are still closed. Some online uh, uh, e-commerce players are having a harder time um, shipping and fulfilling. And it really highlights the strength of Etsy with you know, well over 2 million sellers, almost 3 million sellers who each make products just for you from their home, they're still very much open for business and they're selling across such an incredibly wide range of products. What I'm so uh, encouraged by is that so many buyers are discovering Etsy for the first time or discovering how many of their purchase occasions Etsy can meet, and they're having great experiences. And so giving people an opportunity to shop and try and then be really delighted by Etsy, I think is really encouraging for the very large opportunity that we have ahead. Th that point aside, Josh, uh, I mean, how closely have you tracked localized data when states have s seen some level of reopening of their retail? Did you see a temporary uh, dip uh, in those lo local areas? You know, the data are very noisy, and we haven't really released any data since uh, since the, our earnings call on May 2nd. So I really can't talk about uh, trends that are happening right now. Uh, what I can say is that, that the data are noisy in terms of city level or state level or even country level. Um, but uh, we're, we're definitely seeing that many people are waking up to the idea that Etsy has what they need. And, you know, right now is a moment when people want to put their money where their heart is when they really want to shop their values. And at a time when people feel so divided, Etsy's a place that brings people together and makes them feel connected. At a time when people feel like uh, so much commerce is commoditized and buying from these few conglomerates feels so impersonal, uh, connecting with the actual person who made the product, who can make something just for you, feels relevant now more than ever. The other thing that I'd say right now is that, uh, you know, so much of our life is, is defined by habits, particularly purchases. You know, you, you tend not to think much before you buy something. You go to whatever is the habit. And there are very few times in people's lives where habits get reprogrammed. When they get married, when they have a baby, when they move home, those are the three sort of classic occasions. Well, right now, before you go buy anything, you've got to pause and think to yourself, where can I go and who might be open? And so all of those habits are being reprogrammed. And when people have to pause for just a second, often Etsy comes to mind. And that's an incredible opportunity for us. I think people also want to support small business, sole proprietors. I know you have a lot of independent folks on there. I'm curious what you've seen in terms of the number of creators and artists, given that so many people are out of work and don't have access to a traditional retail model and what they're doing on Etsy right now. You're right, Sarah, and we've talked about this. Well over 2.7 million sellers on Etsy, 89% are, are women, 91% are businesses of one. And for so many people supporting small businesses, supporting independent sellers is really important to them. And Etsy is the easiest and, and, and uh, fastest way and, and most value-oriented way for a seller to, to get in business, for someone to turn their creative energy into a business. And at a time when automation is changing the nature of work, when so many people are losing jobs because of robots and automation, creativity can't be automated. And so we, we take our responsibility really seriously as a platform to allow these independent sellers 
to get online and, and to grow their business. And many people that might have had a retail store before are suddenly trying Etsy because they've, they've had to close their retail store. And they're discovering that not only are they able to build a business, but they really appreciate being able to connect with buyers all over the country and all over the world who have a real passion for what they make. Um, Josh, are you worried about Facebook's shops platform? You know, a lot of people are trying to get in on the small business game now and sprinkle a little bit of Etsy dust onto whatever their big, you know, megalith is. But, uh, you know, brands stand for something. Etsy stands for something truly different. And we've been doing this for 15 years. And in the minds of consumers, Etsy's brand is distinct. And I think that that is something that's compelling and differentiating and, and very enduring. So I'm not surprised others are trying to get in the game, but uh, I, I think we have a brand that really is unique and compelling in the space. What do you think overall, Josh, about this, this whole Facebook ad boycott? I know Etsy sells advertising itself. I mean, you're very much in the e-commerce game. I mean, do you think this is going to have some lasting impact on, on Facebook's bottom line and force some changes? I think that, um, you know, look, Etsy's mission is keeping commerce human. And we're really about bringing people together to build community. And I think it's really important in this time that we are all so frustrated by division, by divisiveness, by people becoming galvanized in their own camps. We want ways to connect with other people. We want ways to sit down and have an honest and open and truthful dialogue, a mutually respectful dialogue. And I think that's part of what Etsy does, is it allows people from all over the country and all over the world to connect over a shared passion and, and, and have some mutual respect and dialogue. And, and, and I think we need that now more than ever. Are you saying they're not getting that on Facebook? Uh, I, I, I'm not commenting on Facebook's business practices. I'm, I'm commenting on Etsy and, and what we stand Just for. your own. Jo figured. Josh, thank you for joining us. Thank you so Josh much. Silverman. Always a pleasure.